let me see what it's going to take to get this done. Let's go talk to him first. All right, looks like this is going to be just a normal setup, a pole, and run internet to a compartment they have on the side where there's an outlet and just feed the CPE and give him a cord to plug his router that he wants to use. But I'm going to bring one just in case um, his don't work. So he can uh, switch it out if he wants but right now I'm pushing for time it's 1225 I got roughly an hour to get all this done and I don't see it happening I'm still gonna try to push it and get this completely done get him up and running pretty much I need just to program the CPE go get a pole put it up run it in and let him do what he wants to do on that end as of getting internet he said he's got a router so we're going to plug it in and see if it works if it does fine if it don't i'm going to have another one and i'm just going to plug it in and say here use this i gotta go use your internet and he wants the biggest package which the router i have will give him that speed and i got a great line of sight of to the ap then also when I'm at the hardware store, I'm going to see if I can get a plate to fix the outlet, make an outlet for where I put that cable modem and dress, dress it up with an outlet and see if I can get out of here and go take the daughter to work. But let's go program this radio and hey spectrum uh, to program his equipment and get the hardware store and finish this one with the uh, modem that I relocated then I'll make another video about doing this install and I'm trying to put my videos up at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That seems to be when most people actually watch my channel, so that's when I'm gonna put them up. They actually watch somewhere around 4, 4.30, so I'm gonna throw them up at 3 a little bit ahead of time. So when they get there, they got new uh, videos to watch. So let's go get his stuff programmed, then get the hardware and finish this one job I got today and then see if I can get him internet. And I'll see you in another video for that. So let's get what I need from a hardware store. And finish this one. All right. got the uh, equipment and we got the drill this time now we need to go to the hardware store and get everything from there that we need hopefully they have all of it I know they're gonna have the poles and they have the straps and stuff that jack I don't know Ethernet jack I don't know about that I know they have Ethernet cords, but, but I don't know how well they actually have wall jacks and stuff like that. We're going to find out today. So let's get over here and see. All right, let's get this uh out it on here and see if we can get this done today and get out of here rush 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 rush
but some people act like they don't have nothing else to do. But that's all right, we'll get it done. Everybody connected. Maybe that little one works better. It just seems like it just fits in there a little bit better, maybe. A little bit. Perhaps we can uh, get a regular screwdriver if we find it in here. That's right. Down in here. That works. Yeah, a little bit. Almost about the same. Actually. This one works a little better, don't feel like it's slipping out. And it's not 5 sixteenths, it's not a quarter, so the nut drivers don't fit. Had to be some metric mess. 5 sixteenths don't work. Quarter don't work. It's just crazy how it just can't be something normal size. It is what it is. As long as we get it on there. Slip, 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 slip. Oh. Maybe I got a socket in here to work. I got a chuck here that's very close, as long as I don't let it strip it. It's not the best, it's not the right size, but it speeds up the. Don't want to strip it. I'm going to put no torque on it because it'll strip. Guarantee that. I don't want to do that. Now I can use this just to snug it up. Snug it up a little bit with this. There we go. Mm. Don't want it to slip and hit my hand. Last thing I need. I think I can use these cords this time because it's not going to go the full length. This is probably going to be long enough because the pole is actually going to be on the ground, touching the ground, so it don't have to go the full 10, 10 foot length of this to get to the box. So I should be fine with this one and possibly use the other one to get to his RV. Ah, let's see. Zip ties. Need to get another pack. This but I had it. Put that 
one about right there. Right, let's get this set up so I can get some uh, mounts and go actually mount this to the pole. Get some screws. screws would be good. I like these screws here. Come on, get back in there. Okay, now I need to get a chuck for it. Here we go. That's the one I need. Go mount. Actually, I need two more, so I'll go ahead and do the box as well. Do it all at one shot going over there instead of double walk. Let's get this done. Aimed, fired up. I got to make his get his count made, which I hopefully <laughs> he's not thinking that this actually this service comes with the park, and he don't have to pay for it because that's not going to work. Let's see if I can mount this over here like this. Be enough room there, and I can mount the box. Woo! Get that out of the way. At least I hope it will come out. Yeah. Get this, get that out of the way, and I can mount the box right up in that area. Right, let's mount this. Level up. It looks good about right there. Turn that in the direction of the AP. About like that. Oh, yeah. 